you're watching 30 Miles Out and Tips with Ty. Hey, what's happening, One Nation? Oh man, <laughs> get on my desk. Let's check this out. Doesn't that look good? Man, that looks like just something killer to throw on the beach. Maybe when I'm headed out in the yak to catch some live hardtails. Or I can't wait to try these. I thought I'd talk to y'all a little day about what I do to get ready for a trip. You know, there's some websites and stuff that I check out to kind of get an idea about what's going on. Let's take a look at some of the things that I look for before we head out or just kind of checking in general for what's going on for the week. So I know where I'm going to fish. Ooh, that sign reminds me, this weekend we've got Marty Zoffinger coming to Pensacola to hang out with us. We may even do a little fishing and filming, who knows, but Marty's taking that kayak back. This guy won a pelican and Marty's been working on it. If you haven't seen those videos, go check them out on Zoffinger's channel. We're going to hang out, do some filming, maybe do some fishing, who knows. The first thing I do generally is go outside, so let's go outside and look around. Generally the afternoon before, the night before I go fishing if I'm getting up. All right, so over here, I'm in the uh, deep woods of Florida Panhandle, and this is some heavily wooded stuff, and I can see trees moving hardcore. And if the trees are moving here, it's some serious wind because uh, we're so densely forested, there's a lot of cover here. So if the trees are moving like this, the beach is gonna be pretty rough. And if I can see trees moving here, I know it's gonna be kind of sketchy. Trees moving, deep woods, not good. I come over here to my websites. Two day, this is two day Mariner forecast. I like the NOAA. For some reason, my NOAA stopped working, so I'm using this two day right now. It says Monday, today, breezy white cap conditions with moderate choppy seas. East wind 15 to 20 knots. Tomorrow, east wind 13 to 18 knots. East wind, when I'm considering going off the beach, is screwy. It's really weird because we run our beach on the panhandle runs east to west so that means it's coming down the beach sideways which is wacky so let's go take a look so i'll go over here to say pensacola surf cam there's the surf today right now so you can see that east wind is pushing the waves sideways they're trying to come in and it's pushing them pushing the water this way down the beach that's east that's west so very wacky scenario, right? This PensacolaSurfCam.com is very handy for this area. You've got them in South Texas. You got them in Galveston, East Texas. You can check your pier cams, man. They, they're really a big help. All right, now I'll also check, you know, the Three Mile Bridge camera. This wind, this east wind has got, you can you see white. I mean, this just looks like a mess. So that's not a day I want to fish the bridge. Navarre Beach Pier Cam. All right, once again, lots of white caps and chop. A lot of people, a lot of people on the pier today. They must, there must be something running. The pompano must started running or something. We were catching kings in close last week, so this is bad. <laughs> you see that camera shaking when the wind's blowing so hard that the camera's shaking. It's not a day I want to be going off the beach. But that's a very handy cam, and you can tell by looking at all these people piled in on the end of the pier that something's going on. So something's biting. But yeah, look at the swells. Yeah, not even a good day to beach walk. Now, if there's a lot of rain in the area, I may check the radar just to see what's going on. All right, there's not a lot going on on the, on the radar. There's a little bit of rain in the Gulf down here, way down there. That's a long way from here. That's gonna be nothing. So it's very dry conditions for the Gulf South. We're very flattered by all the people who have said, you know, we hope y'all are okay from the hurricane, this hurricane that just passed. Or just wanna give you all some some general geography on where we are, where the hurricane hit. We kept saying, you know, we're fine. We're a long way from there, 10 hours from that. So see Mobile, Alabama, and then this is where we are. And we actually live like, like right here, about three miles from the Alabama line. That hurricane came through here, you know, in this region here, which is, man, you can, whew, man, seven hours. There's some things that I like to look for in the weather and, and what the conditions are and kind of plan. Do I want to go beach walking? Do I want to go offshore in the kayak? Do I want to go back bays in the kayak? Anytime I got a lot of wind and ruckus like this, back bays is always a good thing to do, you know? We got Marty coming this weekend. I'm going to start planning for what we're going to do with him. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and we'll catch y'all next time right here on 30 Miles Out. Seven Out Circle. That's for the big guys. So many toys, so little time.